Hello everyone! Today I wanted to make a new type of format where I try to answer all the questions that you have left on the comments. A reason behind is that even if I'd love to make a proper video tutorial, it'll take me some time to make and I don't want you to wait too long for an answer. But that doesn't mean that I won't be creating a complete tutorial about your questions. I also want you guys to know that I might not create cinematic videos for now. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, but I want to focus more on video tutorials that you guys need. So I'm not going to force myself to deliver one each month as I originally planned. Now, before going through your comments, thank you so much for the likes, shares and positive comments. I really, really appreciate it and it's helping me a lot to grow my channel. Also, I want to remind you that you can support me by buying me a coffee to endure the night while editing my videos. <laughs> or you can become a member of my Patreon so you can have access to some nice rewards. With that said, let's go with your comments. Kimbop30 says, Those aviate have flares because I swear all Harrier type planes have no flares. Yes, all the AV-8 from the American Tech Tree comes with countermeasures, but the only Harrier type of plane that doesn't have any is the GR-1 from the Great Britain Tech Tree. Himbo30 making another question. Also, can you explain Squadron RP? The Squadron RP is a separated system that allows you to research green vehicles on the right side of the Tech Tree. To earn those points, you need to join a squadron and every 3 days you get an X amount depending on how much you play the game. It's a slow process and take months to unlock a single vehicle, so choose one that might help you once unlocked. 225175 says, Could use help on how to grind fast in low tier USA? Short answer, buy premium vehicles with research efficiency according to the rank of the vehicle that you are unlocking. Those have low repair costs and get RP and SL bonuses. But if you can't get one, play lineups with vehicles of the same VR and avoid increasing VR if you only have one unlocked. That will allow you to be more competent in battle. Therefore, you'll get more RP and SL. Also, spay vehicles by unlocking all its upgrades since it'll give you a great RP bonuses depending on the vehicle's rank. People say that simulator battles are great for grinding, but it's not as easy to play and requires some knowledge to even take off properly. Chances are, if you are new, you lose all your SL. So I confess. Any tips on how to grind the American air tree? It's mainly bone broke. You can apply the same things that I just explained in my previous answer, but I have a couple of tips for you. For arcade battles, avoid bringing too many vehicles. If you lose, you'll have less to repair. Try using wagers with missions that you think you can easily accomplish. Use orders, especially the AAA one that can help you to get huge SL if combined with boosters, but you must beat other players while active in game. Use AI air targets to score more points. And despite the game mode, aside from destroying player vehicles, go and attack bases, ground units, AI targets, assist, teamwork, accomplish missions, etc. The more you do in a game, the more you'll earn. Astro Jasper asks, how do I use ball pops? There are two ways to use it. One, use it like a more precise conventional rocket while diving on a target since they have a longer range and bigger warheads. And two, bind the control jaw and pitch for aim weapons to control the direction of the rocket if your target moves. Go on practice in test flight. Wrist ask, could you do how to aim with a rocket marker? Well, it depends on your altitude and speed. On practice at sea level on my P-47, to about 400 kph, the lower line indicates 2000 km away and the upper one is about 500 meters. But I need to make more research to see if that's the same for all vehicles and rockets, which I'll do for the video tutorial that I have planned for this weapon. Meanwhile, you can take what I just told you and test it on your plane in the test flight. Maverick says, Some tips for us who are stuck in 5.7. You are so lucky to be the first one picking that name, by the way. So, the faster way that I've been able to unlock air vehicles is by spading other planes, unlocking all the upgrades since that will give you extra RP bonuses depending on the rank. Do daily assaults to get boosters and extra RP. 
Use AAA order combined with booster if you want, use premium vehicles if you can, and play on realistic mode not just attacking players, but also AI targets, ground units, bases, and so forth. That will increase your rewards at the end of the battle. I understand that early jets can feel like a threat, but prop planes are better in turn fights and can accelerate faster at lower speeds. So if you see one coming, evade them. If they try to duck fight, they'll become easy to kill. But if they try to boom them soon, just keep evading while keeping a low altitude. An overconfident jet can overshoot and slam on the ground, especially if they are not used to play on jets. Funny boss 143 asks, can you give tips on 5.3 for Germany? Honestly, I've never played it, but fighting against them, I can tell you that the most to go tank is the Tiger H1. Those are strong, especially at mid to long ranges while facing directly to the enemy. Although, its cupola can be a huge weak point, so you are better hiding on bushes while keeping your distance. Repeat that with the other tanks and you won't fail. About aviation, they have very fast planes with excellent climb rate and good firepower. Boom and Zoom is the best strategy for German planes. No one will escape from you and catching bombers is easy, especially those players trying to climb while flying very slow. American planes can be easy prey if they aren't aware of your presence. But avoid turn fights, unless you are surrounded by allies. I'll make a more complete tutorial in the future. WT Fanboy, Mark Davison, El Gosso, Knights Char Gaming, Sari103, Joe's Mama and Balsings. Well, GR1 doesn't have cannon measures, so keep your distance and focus more to help teammates and attack ground units. It can shine in combined battles, just be careful with anti air vehicles. A10 Bait players to kill them with missiles since they are all aspect, but stay near your team. On ground RB, bring missiles and mavericks only. Bombs and rockets on the arcade only and spam your cannon measures, you have more than you'll ever need. A4E, don't you dare to turn fight, it bleeds energy like crazy and cannot recover it as quickly. Amazing ground pounder in all modes, especially with those wall eye. MiG 21S, just like the GR1, no cannon measures, so focus more on helping your team. You can use it more effectively in combined battles with those bombs. But be careful with anti-air missiles though. G91. Boom and zoom with guns, missiles if your enemy isn't paying attention, and you'll become a killing machine. German Tornado. You are a ground attacker. You can use it as a fighter, but at your BR there are planes that will perform better than you. In ground RB is God, basically. I'll be making a deep tutorial of each vehicle, just like the SU-25 video that I made recently. Just have some patience with me, those videos take some time to make and I really want to deliver something worthy for every one of you. About the Tornado, unless Gaijin releases a premium of that one, I will need a lot of coffee to endure the nights of grinding. <laughs> anyway. That's it for now, let me know in the comments if you like this type of format and if you want to see more in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.